Here's the LDL level. If you've got a low LDL or a high LDL, it doesn't really matter whether you've got a low level or a high level. If you've got a small dense LDL which is in the highest quartile, that's when you get the heart disease. It's not LDL, it's small dense LDL that confers the risk. Lots of studies that show that. Increasing levels of small dense LDL increase risk. Increasing levels of large buoyant LDL do nothing to risk. Another study for Jean-Pierre uh, Pierre Dupre's group. Small dense LDL increase risk. Large buoyant LDL, there's no increase in risk. If anything, there's a decrease in risk. And what predicts small dense LDL? Uh, well, high triglycerides, once you get above 1.5, it's odds on you've got lots of small dense LDL. You need to get below one to be sure you've got none. Now, what predicts the presence of small dense LDL? Does the cholesterol level predict it? No, it's hopeless. Um, do the triglyceride level predict it? Far better than the cholesterol level. Triglyceride divided by HDL? Yes, better again. But whether I like it or not, this measure here is the best predictor of small dense LDL, which is a total cholesterol HDL ratio. Now, a lot of people don't like that ratio because that's the one the cardiology societies promote. They promote it because it works at predicting risk. They're not promoting it because they understand it, but they know that it works. They don't know what to do about it, they don't understand what it happens, but they're forced to use it. But I'm, I'm telling you, it, what it predicts is small dense LDL. So these uh, ratios somehow magically predict um, small dense LDL. Why? Why doesn't triglyceride, if the triglyceride is the cause, why doesn't it predict it? And this paper here discusses that. Triglycerides are, uh, are misunderstood, they're underestimated because triglycerides vary too much from day to day. Even in a patient whose triglyceride level are 0.5, it might be 1 the next day. Somebody who's 1.5 might be 2.5 the next day. They just jump around everywhere. Something that changes with triglyceride, which doesn't jump around, is the HDL level. So I say that the HDL level is a better measure of triglyceride than the triglyceride level. <laughs> and that's why it works. So the reciprocal of HDL works. Now what can we do to reduce our small dense LDL? A low carbohydrate diet. Because a low carbohydrate diet lowers your triglyceride levels. And just one of the many, many studies, Jeff Volek saying that what the diet does better than anything is reduce um, small dense LDL and triglycerides. DoctorsToTrust.com. Please share this video with loved ones.